Hi everyone, welcome to the Practical Gardener. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about this lovely plant. This is a philodendron and it's called Philodendron Jose Bono. Some people call it Jose Buno as well. Jose Bono, B-U-O-N-O is how it is spelt. So Philodendron Jose Bono. This is a lovely plant with beautiful variegated leaves and the variegation is stable. So I have two plants here, one which I have been growing in Lekha, semi-hydroponics. Uh, so you can see this plant is completely uh, growing in Lekha versus this one here is growing in an aroid mix in soil. Okay, now this one is a relatively new plant. Actually, I have a mother plant of this. This is just a top cutting of that mother plant and see the size of these leaves. This is my palm. And you can see the size of the huge, huge leaves. So I have kept it on this small shelf on top of my center table because I wanted to show you the leaves. Okay, so that's Philodendron Jose Bono for you. Okay, so I can show you some of these beautiful leaves and the beautiful variegation as well. For this plant that I'm growing in Lekha, I've kind of used a moss pole to give it some support. Uh, I see that the variegation is a lot more pronounced in the Lekha version, probably because I have it more in a brighter spot than compared to the one which is growing in soil. So don't read too much into it. The beauty of this plant itself is that it will surprise you with its different speckles and variegations. No two leaves look the same. So if you look at this, this looks so different from this one and from this one, right? This is a lot more scattered and clustered versus this has got a lot more white in it. This seems to have a lot more yellow in it. So it's so different uh, versus these as well. This again has very scattered and gradual variegation etc so beautiful variegations which will surprise you and the plant looks lovely now some people may get confused with the philodendron jose bono uh, versus the philodendron burly marks uh, variegated burly marks the plant i have here is the burly marks and the biggest difference is you you see it and you know it but burly marks has a lot of these thin leaves that come from the center versus the Jose Bono has a very pronounced thick stem. Secondly, the leaves are relatively thick, quite elastic in um, Jose Bono versus a burly marks has got this very floppy, thin kind of leaves. Jose Bono is a stable variegation. Versus Burley Max has a green version, so green Burley Max, and then you have a variegated hybrid, uh, which is this version. So that's the difference, but there will be a lot of confusion between the these two plants, and sometimes even with the Pariso Verde. A Pariso Verde Philo again has a kind of a mint variegation. I have it with me, I haven't got it in, but um, uh, that's very different. If you see the three plants together, just looking at them, you will know which is what. So don't get confused between these three plants, but uh, nevertheless, all three of them are beautiful and lovely. And if you can find them, get all three. So now that we've admired this plant, let me tell you a little bit about the care tips for the uh, philodendron. This can be grown in Lekha and it can be grown in a very loose aroid mix. So like philodendrons, even the Jose Bono is quite easy to grow if you give it the right conditions. Give it very loose soil. Uh, you can add a lot of uh, you know charcoal or even bark mix like an orchid mix, some husk. Uh, pumice or lava rocks etc into the soil mixture to make it quite chunky so that uh, you don't get very clay soil or the roots don't get drowned uh, they suffocated that's important the roots should be able to breathe easily for philodendrons and then in terms of watering water them when the top say two three inches of soil gets dry you don't need to keep watering it but what's important is to keep the humidity high 
Jose Bono, though you can even keep it in low light conditions, not very low light, but bright enough light, but it doesn't have to be direct sun uh, because it's variegated. But if you give it a little more brighter light, you will see beautiful variegation. For instance, this plant of mine is in a relatively low light area because I am not able to find the space to put it in a bright spot. Versus this one, because it's a lot more compact, it's got a moss stick and then it's growing in this lekha. I, I have uh, put it in a slightly higher light or a brighter light area. And the variegation on this is a lot better than this. But having said that, I think the kind, the, the size of the leaves here is amazing. Of course, that's because it has uh, been growing on the ground and this is a top cutting of a mother plant. So that's why the, the size, this is a very mature plant versus this one, which came to me with two leaves and now it's really, really ramping up and growing. And I'm seeing that the, there's beautiful variegation. And I really enjoy this plant as well. So that's about soil. Watering I told you. I've also told you about the light conditions. Uh, treat it like every other philodendron. I haven't seen many pest attacks on it. But um, uh, it can, you know, given that the leaves are quite big, uh, it can attract a lot of uh, dust. So if you're using it as a house plant, I would suggest, you know, use a wet cloth and give it a nice rub or you can even use some kind of kind of a leaf shine product to maintain the beauty of these leaves. If you see this, if you nicely shine the leaves, which I have done with this one, it looks artificial. But I mean, trust me, these are real plants that are growing and they really do uh, very, very well. Okay, that's all about philodendron Jose Bono.